There's a delightful little story in the Gospel of Luke. It's sandwiched between the parable of the lost sheep and the parable of the lost son or prodigal son, and so it's often skipped over. But I wanted to share it with you today for a particular purpose. What woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels over one sinner who repents. Now, in the parable of the lost sheep, the sheep can be somewhat held responsible, but you know it wasn't done intentionally. The sheep just, just get lost because uh, they're not terribly bright. In the parable of the prodigal son, the, the son is definitely responsible for his choices, and he is definitely very lost. But the coin is different. No one blames a coin for getting lost. It's someone else's fault. And we do have those in our society who are lost really through no fault of their own. No one has ever shared uh, the gospel with them. Perhaps no one has ever truly loved them. Uh, there are many reasons why, why people are in bad places, and it's really not of their own doing at all. And so I think as Christians, we are called, as this woman is called, to find that lost coin, to go into those dark places where a coin might be lost, those dark places in our world where those who are lost may find themselves, and do what we can to try to draw them out and try to rejoin them with the community. And when we do, there really is no more joyful moment in one's life than when one has been able to be a part of what God is doing to rescue someone from a difficult situation. And indeed, we are told that the angels rejoice when one is found.